What's going on? Is the world ending? Does David Laid need to shill the vegan diet so that he can afford his bunker? For those of you unfamiliar with David, he's one of the most popular fitness influencers, over 1 million followers each on Instagram and YouTube. Anyone in the fitness industry knows who he is. Of course, we can expect anyone with such a large following to be a sellout to some degree as they have to play by the rules. And by playing by the rules, I mean following the orders of those in charge to further mislead the masses. I did have a tiny shred of respect left for David, and now it's all gone. Now, I'm not going to debate whether this guy is natural or not, and that's relevant because it displays his dishonesty. I do think with his genetics, years of dieting, and high volume training, you can achieve his physique, but he didn't. He didn't do it naturally. David has been very vocal about his laziness, or not really laziness, just lack of work ethic in general, which applies to both his workout and diet. And you can't say someone is lazy and that they don't have a work ethic if they're not a high level bodybuilder. It's a very difficult thing to do and the average person is not up to it. So he's not inherently lazy. And I think this also explains why he is selling out on the vegan diet. You know, just like he's a fake natty misleading people about his past drug usage, he doesn't have the integrity and drive to build his own business ideas. So he figures, hey, let me collect a check from Big Broccoli by going vegan for a month or two. And I'm sure this is oh so familiar to many of you who remember Kai Greene's vegan catastrophe back earlier this year. He got crucified by his followers for being a sellout and almost immediately after posting the vegan news on social media, he took down and deleted all of his posts. I think these guys are getting offered six figure deals to pretend they're vegan on social media. Otherwise, why are they risking so much of their reputation on selling out so obviously? I think it's a large enough sum of money that they can't turn it down, but it's not big enough to retire with. Anyone with half a brain knows that you don't just decide to go vegan. You know, everyone knows a vegan diet is not conducive to muscle growth. Now, you can build muscle on a plant-based diet if you inject testosterone like all the fake natty vegan bodybuilders do. After all, synthetic testosterone is vegan. I can only assume that the elites in charge of the vegan propaganda are trying to suck in as many low IQ people as possible. Yeah, even if the majority of Kai Green and David Lade's followers don't believe and just brush off the vegan nonsense, they have so many followers that even if only one or two percent go vegan, Big Broccoli still bags a few hundred thousand misguided fools. And that small amount of people that go vegan, it's like a snowball effect. They'll try to convince other people. Duh, duh, duh. About a month in on a vegan diet, definitely lost some weight, but I feel much better and have way more energy. Planning on continuing. I mean, this is a very generic post, similar to what we've seen in the past. Any influencer that has suddenly gone vegan posts a similar, nondescript, very general message. They feel better, more energy, no mention of the negatives. You know, I bet you he got weaker, lost some muscle mass, and how long until he gets injured and keeps his mouth shut about his ankle exploding. He did say a video on what he's eating is coming soon, so that means he definitely got a fat check from the vegan overlords. And I'm not going to wait for that video to talk about this because of David Lade's fairly unreliable upload schedule. You know, the comments though, do give us some feedback on what he's been doing, but keep in mind, these people plant fake comments. Everything is very carefully orchestrated. So an account will ask David a question and he will answer it as he was told. It's very unlikely that any of these interactions are legitimate. What's your main source of vegan protein? Vegan pee pee. So he meant vegan protein powder, but if I had to make a bet, vegan fairy boy pee pee probably does account for a certain percentage of his protein source. And by all means, I am a fan of the fairy boys, but David does tend to go after the cuter muscle boys, so I could be wrong. Then there's the classic brainwashed vegan. They might need some different amino acids, but all nine essential amino acids we need are all found in plants. Hey, maybe she knows what she's talking about. After all, you don't see too many females that have built up an Adonis belt. Must be all the plant protein she's eating. Not only do these vegans gaslight and lie that plant foods can replace animal foods, they also push the animal foods are actually bad. Besides that, 
Protein animal is highly acidic compared to plant proteins and the leading cause of arthritis and kidney stones. This reminds me that Instagram knowledge is a step down from YouTube knowledge, which isn't that great in the first place. The general understanding and topics that are debated on these platforms aren't that deep to say the least. So these vegans are able to get away with these ridiculous lies. Yes, hopefully you aren't still wrapping your sweet potatoes in foil though when you cook them. <laughs> this is hilarious. She's worried about cooking sweet potatoes in aluminum foil when these vegans are sucking down enough pesticides, herbicides, agrochemicals every day to kill a rat. Listen, aluminum foil is bad and definitely a concern. I actually have a video I'm going to do on aluminum, but way less of a problem for your health than following a vegan diet. And uh, Cassandra, I think you're barking up the wrong tree, young lady. And boys, I got a plug. I can't believe it. So sad they tricked you into messing your gains up. Every legend used beef or a form of animal product as well as eggs and milk. Some legends didn't go vegan until way after they retired. Just sad because when going vegan you're stretching your body out and reducing all the nutrients your body needs. Your body is made of water and beef. You should only be putting the same back into it and restricting your body of one of those is even crazier to me. Hopefully you find realization soon. Maybe watch Frank Tefano on YouTube then see how you feel. This is said, assuming my main goal is being a legend, which I assume for you is something along the lines of a high status hypermuscular bodybuilder or something like that, but that's definitely not a goal of mine. That's not to say you can't achieve that being vegan. I'm enjoying the drastic increase in energy and mood, and if my physique takes a hit, which it may or may not, I don't really care. I'm fine with how I look now. I prefer how I feel over how I look, and I'm feeling great. <laughs> this is great. He doesn't care if his physique takes a hit or not. He doesn't think his physique is hypermuscular. Is this guy cuckoo? I mean, that's the biggest lie I've heard in my life, considering his whole persona and business was built on that. Plus, he's probably taking more performance enhancing drugs than ever in his life to maintain the muscle he has while he goes vegan. I firmly believe at this point that most famous people know my YouTube channel and follow my health advice but continue to mislead the masses while choking down caviar every day. There are a few comments that are buried with the truth. Veganism is a ZNWO diet, don't be fooled. We're made out of cholesterol and saturated fat, look up Wes and Price. Wow, you're fucked. I'm gonna see you all shriveled up with purple hair screaming about capitalism soon. Very sad. That being said, the majority of the comments are just a cesspool of nonsense arguing. Vegans parroting facts they've heard, repeating that animal foods aren't necessary and are actually dangerous. The big bad animal protein is linked to all sorts of diseases. You're gonna die if you eat animal! The loudest voice in the room is what's heard, and there are so many paid vegan minions and actors, they are able to brainwash thousands and thousands of people into spreading their misinformation. But the main reason I made this video is to ask one thing, David, why don't you have a castle mansion in Malibu at this point? Why aren't you selling your own supplements or workout programs? If most people had your following, they would have more money than they would know what to do with and would not have to sell out for the vegan diet. The point is, this guy should not have to push plant-based nonsense to make money. I really don't know what it is. I don't know if he's just in a position where he can't do things on his own, if they're not allowing him to, I don't know. But hopefully uh, you guys enjoyed this video. If you can, you know, like, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think, as well as what videos you guys would like to see in the future. So you guys know how to support me down in the description below. But above all, you know, please just share the video on various social media sources. Thanks again for joining me today, guys. I'll see you for tomorrow's video.